Welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's of the Wildlife Thrift Store. Apparently there's one here in Toronto, and then there's another one in Vancouver. The first view is what you see straight onto the, but this is what you would normally see when you're walking up towards it. The front window is a, is a nicely done, and appears to be connected to the Covenant House for funding them. They got from pretty good hours, considering where they're located, right on Front Street, east, between um, Union Station and the uh, St. Lawrence Market. This is the interior window. Nice display of this, that, and the other thing. They've got quite a bit of artwork. Up front, you'll find a lot of the women's stuff. And there are, there's one rack of men's on the front. But then there's more deeper in. So there's a lot of artwork along the walls. Not all of it is for sale. Not all of the items that you see, especially up high, is for sale. Um, possibly, if, you, if they get a good offer they might sell it but I, I don't know I didn't pursue that because I there was nothing that interested me to obtain I'm not sure if all of those are for display only some of them may be welcome I'm Hawaiian shirt pop Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. And we'll continue with some of the racks here. These are in deeper inside the store. No, sorry, this is right up front. Um, interesting selection of kitchenware nicely displayed reasonable prices especially considering where it's located and we continue along we're going to see this a couple of times I actually was in the store I got a phone call while I was making the recording went outside the store to so I could have the f peace of mind well I don't interrupt all the other customers and then I came back in so some of it overlaps some of it doesn't some books that they have here you'll see some of these uh, in a different presentation in a bit. As we are moving to the back of the store, there's a, a chicane or a narrowing in the middle of the store. And the costume jewelry is displayed not only on the wall, but also on the, some of the pillars that are uh, we saw a glimpse of earlier. This is the men's clothing side. And there's a bunch of shoes as well, and they're not necessarily all men's, but that's a separate issue. We'll get to that in a bit. There was, uh, oh, there's the shoes, some clothing and pants, even brand new ta with tag. Those are Dickies tool pants. If they're your size, it probably a really good deal and we continue along looking at some of these clothes on the other side of the store oh the other side of the store and we're coming up to the center counter they've got some more precious items that they don't want to just leave out uh, behind the counter uh, some of these are electronics, some of them are leather goods, like purses, wallets, things like that. 
So we've we've added some additional imaging here so you can focus on them a bit better. As we continue along, we see uh, so they've got some on the counter. They've got some some of the nicer shoes, some interesting pieces, glassware, some electronics is in the back. Uh, you'll see some f f coming up shortly, including a cute old TV. I don't think it was for sale. There's a few things, like I said, that are not for sale, but that's okay. They need something for nice decor as well. When I originally looked it up, it seemed to be that they had more than one location. Yes, they do. But the, I only found two locations. So it's not like there's a lot of these around. And considering it's become bi-coastal, but with one, on, one in Toronto, one in Vancouver. Some interesting pieces that they've uh, chosen to place in the portion behind the cashier. Here we are, we're looking at, uh, first of all, we're looking at some of the artwork that's above the costume jewelry. So I think it was $85 for the, the grain silo. The large one above it was 95. Uh, the way they're lit up, it makes it very difficult to photograph. But here we've got some of the costume jewelry that we passed a little earlier. And we're focusing it on, on it a little bit here. So you can get a bit of a clue as to what's, what they've got here. There were other items that I was, I did get a video, but I found that there was uh, either employees or customers in those images. So they uh, ended up not being kept. The store was not empty. It was reasonably active in there. They had a few interesting shirts, like that one with the hockey sticks on it. But I really like this coffee pot, teapot. We actually did see a glimpse of it in, a, in an earlier segment, as we've also seen some of these other things. We're still looking for those Hawaiian shirts. Interesting shirts, but not really Hawaiians. These are the women's items. That's the front of the store there. So I didn't really find anything as far as uh, Hawaiian shirts go. They did have a lovely selection of household goods and de decorative items. They had quite a bit more in the women's area. Here you see some bags and purses and backpacks. And quite a bit of really nice looking artwork that they had up on the wall. And as <laughs> snowshoes, sure. I think they were not for sale, if I remember correctly. Even a, a faux wall phone of that sort, because it actually has a rotary dial, or at least buttons to represent the rotary dial. Not sure the clothes above the shelf are for sale. I wasn't particularly interested in any of them. They're a great display otherwise. And now we're going to take a, a little bit of a slideshow before we finish off. These are items that were... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Appreciate it. Thank you for